My name is Silvina Moschini. I'm a technology entrepreneur. I like to define myself as a social impact entrepreneur. I'm the president, chairwoman, and founder of a network of companies that includes a Unicorn Hunters, a platform that allows investors from all over the world to co-invest with personalities such as Steve Wozniak, uh, Rosie Rios, Movella, former treasurer of the United States and former CFO of the White House, in the most promising startups that, that have the potential to become unicorns. I'm also the uh, founder and president of Unicoin, a next generation cryptocurrency that is backed by an investment fund in which we invest in the companies that are part of Unicorn Hunters ecosystem and some other companies that have the potential to change the world. I'm originally from Argentina. I was uh, raised uh, between Europe and the United States and I became an entrepreneur uh, after a long career in corporate world and became also an entrepreneur because I wanted to build companies that can actually solve the most pressing issues of humanity as well. There is a big opportunity. We have made some progress. Women represent 50% of the universe, but yet we don't have 50% of the opportunities. But things are changing, and it's changing, it's, they are changing because there are more women willing to take leadership roles, starting up companies, thinking differently about money and the creation of value. And it's a very positive environment to work together alongside with men in bringing more diversity into the technology ecosystem, the wealth management ecosystem, and co-build uh, together with men companies that are much better, that serves the universe as a whole, including the 50% of the population which is represented by women. I believe that crisis comes along with great opportunities. We are uh, recently uh, living behind perhaps one of the most unprecedented crises of our times, but also the opportunity to change the way we work, the way we think about money, the way we connect, the way we live. And with this change, we are seeing the big opportunity to create companies that are exponentially exponential, companies that are same time, say, faster, bigger, more efficient, more inclusive, and most cost-effective. So I do believe that this acceleration that we are seeing in the market will bring very positive changes in uh, the companies that are now uh, scaling up or many of the companies that are now being created because it shows that we can work from anywhere. So remote work became not only an opportunity, but the norm. We can build companies that are technology-based, so by nature, their market is the world. And we can build with diversity, because no longer the geographical barriers that separate the talent from the opportunity are a consideration. So I am very positive that this pandemic, as it uh, makes us a step away from our comfort zone, will bring us many unicorns and many opportunities for diverse entrepreneurs, from entrepreneurs from Middle East, from entrepreneurs from all over the world that can now access the world through the companies that they are creating. Historically, people thought about impact investing as something that they do because it's good for the world and it's the right thing to do, but I do believe that doing doing good is a fantastic business. I like to think that companies that solve real issues that the humanity is facing, like for example, climate change, access to wealth, access to food, employment opportunities, and uh, technologies that save lives are extremely positive, not only for the planet, but are fantastic opportunities. When, for example, at Unicorn Hunters, we select the companies, we align the uh, selection of the companies with companies that have uh, an active role in resolving the issues described at the Global Development Goal by the United Nations, because we do believe that it is a great business to solve the humanity issues. So I don't envision investing without a vision of social impact. I think that 
It's smart to invest with diversity. It is smart, as I said, to invest in women because women lead companies that present 28% better return on profits than companies led by men alone. That working together with men, it's a better proposition than working only alone, women or men. And I do believe that we need to change the perspective of investing in impact from doing something because it's a good thing that will make us feel good to do something that it will really have an enormous impact economically, socially, and in the planet as well. When we look at companies that have the potential to become a billion dollar business, we look at companies that have certain characteristics. One of them, and perhaps it's one of the most important factors, is the founder. Is the founder backable? Does the founder has what it takes to become a leader of a company that can scale fast, that attract investors, that attract the right customers, that can convince people to take a chance on them, employees, partners, allies, people that are going to be their constituencies and are going to be backing him or, him or her all the way. Also, we look at companies that has a significant market to tackle, an addressable market that is big enough that they are solving with the disruptive technology an issue that is very urgent and pressing because we want to make sure that they can scale fast and that they will not be an afterthought. We're also looking at companies that have an impact in the planet or in the universe. So we are looking at the social factor as well. And also that has a disruptive technology. We want to have founders that can think of technologies that are not a one-trick pony, because we know that the market changed very, very fast, and we want to make sure that they have the ability and the flexibility to pivot and to rethink their business model whenever it's necessary. If they had that, most likely, if the conditions are appropriate, they will have the opportunity to build not only a unicorn, but perhaps a decacorn and beyond, because today unicorns are not becoming such a, a rare thing, there are over a thousand unicorns already in the world. Unicoin is a next generation smart cryptocurrency. We uh, created to help people from different parts of the world to have the ability to invest in a fund that is investing in startups and in scale-ups. So it's a global innovation fund that is back in the cryptocurrency. This is important because it allows us to address the most important issue related to crypto, which is volatility. Traditional cryptocurrencies go up and down very fast because they don't have a backing. So the future of our uh, company uh, at Unicoin relies not only on the offer and demand, but on the value of the companies that we select. And we select companies from Unicorn Hunters ecosystem, those that are in the show, but also we'll select and grow a hundred more companies per year through different acceleration initiatives. And the other different thing that we believe that it will be very important is that it pays dividends. It allows uh, coin holders, unicorn holders, to uh, receive unicorns with any, with, when any of our companies have an exit, um, uh, uh, have an exit or as part of their uh, has a liquidity event as part of their strategy. So for us, it's like what we call a smart uh, crypto because it has all the positive uh, factors of uh, the cryptocurrencies. We do believe that crypto is not only the present but the future of currencies, but it addresses the volatility, which is the most pressing and perhaps challenging issues of traditional cryptocurrencies. Well, I'm extremely grateful to Sir Anthony Ritosa for the opportunity. I think this is the state of the art, the leading investors event with the smartest people in the planet getting together to network, to meet entrepreneurs, to discuss what's next in innovation. So I'm very positive. My message is uh, that we are living the most um, interesting transformation and digital acceleration of our living time 
This is a time full of opportunities to bet on the future, to bet on uh, how the wealth will be created. We do believe that technology, together with disruptive business model for investing, including scale-ups, future unicorns, and cryptocurrencies, are a big play in the future, and I invite them to think of what we are doing and also talk to us because we want to build a hub for MENA region. We want to work with entrepreneurs. We do believe that the level of education and the level of talent that we have in this region is superb, uh, both men and women. And we are extremely happy that we have a global platform that can uh, align with South Divisions 2030 to present these opportunities to the world. So through our media companies, through our transactional platform, we do believe that the, this event and the luminaries, the distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen that are part of this are a, a fantastic partner and it will be my dream to help uh, scale the, the ecosystem presenting the talent of the region to the world.